Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Dutch Eats. Today I'm going to show you all putting a whole rabbit on the open fire. We're going to, I got a little rotisserie that I got automatic, uh, automatic rotisserie with some batteries in it. Uh, might have to go with some more batteries, but check this out. You might come over from my rabbit processing video. I've already got it set up, ready to go, seasoned. I'm going to stick it on the open fire and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I think it's going to be amazing. I think you're going to enjoy the video. Hey, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that like button for me if you would. And please, please, I'll keep saying this, share these cooking videos. Y'all, it helps me out so, so much when you share these videos uh, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. It. Let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, I got the fire going pretty good. Got a good set of coals underneath there. Then I uh, threw some uh, hickory logs up there. Now this is my automatic rotisserie. It works pretty dang good. So I'm, that's exactly how I'm going to roast this uh, rabbit right over this open fire. And I may have to tinker with the level a little bit, but I'll show you guys that. So let's get this rabbit on the rotisserie and get it cooking. This looks amazing. Um, I'm gonna pull it off the fire and stick it over here on the table. We're gonna cut into it. I'll show it to you right before I pull it off. I'll show you pulling it off too. Um, but I wish you could smell it. Just the fresh roast rabbit. It smells awesome. Gabby's even wanting some. I got a feeling this is gonna be awesome. Look at that. Wow. Whew. Not too hot. Let's see if I could pull this off without burning myself. This smells awesome. I did get some of this barbecue sauce. My brother from um, Good Grub Almighty. <laughs> That's how he says this channel. He's got a YouTube channel called Good Grub Almighty. Um, he turned me on to this Budweiser sweet and smoky uh, barbecue sauce from Walmart, I guess, or home. I don't know where he got it from, um, but it actually tastes really good. Um, so we're gonna cut into this. I might see if he's home. He actually might be in there doing a video himself. Um, but if he is, I'll get him out here to try rabbit. He's actually said he's never tried rabbit. And uh, what a better time now to try it. What a better time to try it other than that. Let's do now. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Oh, 
Perfect. Got my new knife out. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off. Then you got the back strap inside. Right here, I mean, this is gonna be absolutely amazing. Wow. Hmm. We're gonna get out here and we're just gonna pull that. Let me put my hatchet up. Yeah, probably don't need that out here right now. But I got um, the, the one and only good grub almighty out here with me. Good I'm grub been, almighty. I've been teasing him about that, but uh, go check his channel out if you get a chance. He just recently hit a a thousand subscribers good job that's a and big I, deal i really haven't had you on on the keeping it dust channel yet either to really get you the, the hookup but we'll get that soon hey i'm grateful for anything i can yeah, get okay, all right so we got rabbit now i got this rabbit in a trade for some chickens from alex and jacob from uh, uh sawyer ridge farm they traded me a rabbit they raise rabbits for pretty much for a living they sell sell and trade so um i got your barbecue sauce i was bragging and you said that was good hey um, that stuff's really good you can open it up and we'll try it this is already took, I already took a bite and it's awesome. So well, we're, this is the back strap like on a deer. Here's the thighs and the, and the legs. I just go ahead and tear you off a piece right there. Okay. Now you've never had a rabbit, you're in for a treat. I've never had rabbit before. I don't know why more people don't eat rabbit because it's supposed to be like one of the most healthiest meats you can have, especially for clay. Try it without the barbecue okay. sauce first. All right. He just sniffed it like it almost went up his nose. <laughs> That's really good. You never had it before, huh? No, that reminds me of a, it's like a, well, it's going to sound funny, but like a dark meat chicken or something. That's good. That's really good. All you wascally rabbits better watch out now. Holy moly. You, really, you don't even need the barbecue sauce? That's amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. Ra rabbit, fried rabbit. Mm. If you like grilled rabbit, you're going to absolutely love fried rabbit. Fried rabbit. This is awesome. This is good. I can't believe I've never had it before. No, not, a lot of people. A lot of people don't have, don't eat rabbit because you gotta either go hunt them. They don't sell rabbit around here in the store, so it's not like your local yeah. chicken or anything like that. Pretty dang good. This, for, this is good grub, Almighty approved. I promise <laughs> you that. I appreciate that. Hey, it really is. That's amazing. You did a really good job. Once you bite into that, you ready? Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Hmm. Notice you got your hair all fixed up. Hmm. This is amazing. Oh, is that good? It's pretty good, isn't it? Hmm. No. Yeah, okay, guys, I encourage you, if you've never had rabbit and you're able to get rabbit, go out and get some. Try it because you're going to love it. If you like chicken or anything like that, you're absolutely going to love rabbit. Um, this was awesome. A um, little way to cook over the open fire for y'all. Like you guys know, I love cooking over the open fire. That rotisserie, every chance I get, I use it. This is the perfect, perfect time to use it by roasting, slow roasting a rabbit over the open fire. How awesome is that? You guys, thanks so much for uh, supporting the channel here on uh, Dutch Deeds. If you guys have any questions about anything, leave me some comments down below. And like I always say, please share these videos because it helps me out a bunch when you share my cooking videos. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough. Love you guys. Catch you guys on the next episode of Dutch Eats.